world is full of wonderful things to find out about. Finding out what you want to know can be an adventure. That sounds like a baby bird. It must have fallen from its nest. Ricky knew that you should put a baby bird back in its nest. Much chance of finding a nest up there. He couldn't leave it to starve, so he decided to take it with him. At school, Ricky's friends asked all sorts of questions. What kind of bird is it? How are you going to take care of it? Nobody seemed to know. Jimmy said, how about asking Mr. Miller at the pet shop? He takes care of all kinds of birds. Ricky was worried because the bird hadn't had anything to eat all day. Mr. Miller showed him that when you touch the bird on its beak, it will open its mouth for food. There didn't seem to be anything wrong with its appetite. Ricky wouldn't have used the word authority to describe Mr. Miller, but that was what he was. An authority is a fine source of information. Mr. Miller showed Ricky how to make a nest for the bird and how to keep it warm. One of the good things about talking to an authority is that he can answer many of your questions right away. That hole, that's the opening to its ear. Mr. Miller answered other questions about birds, about how to keep them and how to keep them healthy. He talked about the different types of birds. Ricky especially wanted to know what kind of bird he had found. Mr. Miller couldn't answer that. He explained that it's hard to tell because this bird's feathers haven't grown. When it has markings on its feathers, Ricky can find books and pictures that will identify it. followed Mr. Miller's suggestion of using a shoebox to make a home. He named the bird Peep for obvious reasons. A week later, Ricky noticed some remarkable changes in Peep's appearance. He was astonished by how fast a bird's feathers grow. He began to watch for the changes in the markings on the feathers. Then he noticed that the feathers on the edge of the wing were different from the others. He began to realize how much you can see when you observe closely. In another week, Peep looked like an adult bird. But what kind? Not a robin. A sparrow, maybe. Ricky decided to take Peep and go to the library to find out. The reference section is a good place to begin for an overall view. Encyclopedias are arranged alphabetically by subject. When Ricky found the chapter on birds, he got a quick idea of what was in the article by looking at the section headings and then at the pictures. Peep didn't seem to look like any of those birds. Perhaps there were some other pictures. Another source of information is pamphlets. If there are pamphlets on the subject, they may contain a great deal of concentrated information.
just as an encyclopedia does. Often there is a picture file, too. A librarian can suggest ideas if you need help. Magazines are another good source to know about. And, of course, there are books. At the card catalog, Ricky didn't know any titles or authors, so he looked in the file under his subject, Birds. Every card shows the call number, title, and author, which Ricky noted down for the books he wanted. Then it was easy to match the notes to the books. That night, surrounded by all his research material, Ricky found his answer. Peep was a house finch, sometimes called a linnet. At first, Ricky had just wanted to know what kind of bird Peep was. But one subject led to another. Bird migration. How they're able to fly. He found he wanted to know all about birds. Peep looked and acted like an adult, all right. But before a bird can take care of itself, it has to learn to eat adult food. Ricky got some from the pet shop and set out to teach Peep to eat for himself. He laid out the different kinds of food that linnets eat and wondered which one Peep would choose first. He didn't seem to want any of them. Ricky realized he had a problem. Let's see. Since Peep was used to the eyedropper for baby food, maybe he would take adult food from the end of it. That idea didn't work either. Solving problems often isn't easy. There, he ate a seed. Now, if he would just peck for himself. Come on. Success. It gave Ricky a good feeling to discover for himself what he needed to know. The time had come to decide about Peep's future. Peep had become a real pet. But after all, he was a wild bird and ought to go free. The boys exchanged different ideas. Larry remembered hearing about the Audubon Center, where there was a kind of bird refuge. Maybe that would be the best home for Pete. They looked up the number and made arrangements to go. It's always exciting to go to special places and have new experiences in new surroundings. At the Audubon Center, a man showed the boys around, explaining that wild birds were protected there. He showed them some of the feeding stations. Many different kinds of wild birds lived there because they had learned that there was food and safety. Other friendly animals, too. A good guide can point out many interesting things about new surroundings. The boys saw some of the natural foods linnets eat. They saw a nest such as Peep might build someday. Peep and Ricky had both learned a great deal since they had met. But now the time had come for Peep to learn about the world on his own.
After Ricky's adventure with Peep, he would always be interested in birds. But every day can bring a new adventure, something new and interesting to learn about. Finding information is easy when you know how. And the world is full of wonderful things to learn.